Hey guys, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another inbox review. This time we got a Dragon, the Neubaufahrzeug Nummer 35. With the Rheinmetall Fahrgestell and Turm, Krupp Turm, geänderte MG Türme or the MG Turrets. Uh, let's start with the David Dragon box art, nice drawing. A uh, Scandinavian backdrop, that's what I used. You got on the side, you got the marking options with the deco sheet. It's a 2011 kit. The kit number is the 6690. Oh, it says here 03. Um, you can see it here. And the cat drawings. You got even some new stuff here that I haven't seen before on Dragon Kids. Cat drawings. I think this is the only PE part in there. Right here, some two. And the newly tooled MG turrets. And more to the front. And here on the back, of course, the turrets. Slide molded for maximum details, as they say. Upper and lower hole. New tools. Suspension systems, sprockets. Don't know what kind of uh, tracks this one has yet, but it seems single link. And some new side fenders. So let's open the kit and take a look. There it is. It's not very full. Big parts of nothing. Yeah. Take it all out. And let's start with the instruction sheet. <coughs> Uh, typical dragon, of course, and sprue sheet with blue. You're not gonna use, so this kit ain't good for your spare bin because there are only a few you don't need. You can see here some tools. Well, they say you don't need the tools, but you can always put on extra tools, of course. Starting with the road wheels. Idlers, I oh, don't know. This is different than normal Germans. Sprocket, return rollers. And these are the road wheels, two parts. And on a bogey system, you assemble the bogies and put them in place on a long strip. You put on Need to tie strips and uh, by the looks of lower him and put him in the upper hole. So you can place, put on the sprocket wheels, uh, escape hatch on, extra arm protection on, hatches on the back on. We'll stick two here. Uh, and then you put on the bottom plate. Okay, this is a little bit different than what you used to. Put on the Towing eyes, rear plate. If I guess I'm just really, let's check this. Yeah, I guess this is the rear plate here. Yeah. With a hatch, some extra towing eyes here, a light. Here's another hatch coming in in the front. Driver's hatch going in, there's the armored vision port, tools go on the side, return rollers go in the slots here, single link tracks, I just saw them go in here 124 times. Yay! And I'm guessing it's 
twice, so 248 single screw track links. Enjoy. Uh, the idler in front, let's see here. And here's the. I just told me I was called in English, I forgot already. Defender, side fender goes on, tools go up, fire extinguisher. The jack goes in, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 part jack, so it's also a nice little kit itself. An extra hatch here, facing a light or a horn going on. Hatch going in there. This is the one I guess, so this will be a light. Tools. Uh, not really clear what this is. Oh, okay, yeah. This is a side view of this piece here. And there where D2 goes. There. Get the head to, should have made it a little bit bigger, but that hole you have to drill before you can put on D2. Just the head. Why they didn't blow this up, I don't know. Uh, the exhaust, by the looks of it, goes on. And you got a side fender, tools on the front. Again, some drilling. But exactly where is not very clear. You have to count holes to know where to drill. These holes are probably for the. Yeah, this will be for the exhaust system here in the back. It's again not very clear. That's what's not. Front fenders, assembling going on. Attachment. Right, PE. You see some engine bay covers or something going on here. Four times. Now well, here you got to choose between the engine cover, it's this, and the uh, air intakes being plastic, or you make them out of PE. You can see. No, you can't see. Here, maybe a PE or plastic or PE. I don't know. And you have to check the quality of the plastic in a second. So, uh, work on the turret. This the turret. This is the turret roof. It's the inside. So, there goes the vision blocks with hinges. So you can open or close them. The command cupola. Five parts going on here, and this one is very busy. Uh, this is a vision block. These are either or some hooks just in the back. A giant plate on top on the back of the turret. Vision blocks. The gun mount is going to be placed here. And the machine gun. Yeah. Twelve. Come on, couple going in. Another pair of heads going in. Some handles going up. And the upper and the lower part are put together. There's a little zoom in. The handle going in here. Antenna mounts going in there. I think it is. It's more parts here's the antenna. No, no, this is the antenna. It's going up front here with the antenna rest just over the hatch. The gun being built up, it's two barrel gun. Yeah, machine gun next to it. Going in another hatch here. Now I wonder, it says B, oh wait a minute, yeah, this here, you have to make two, these are the MG turrets, see here, this is the main turret, with the main guns, 
goes in and these are the MG turrets and it says B, just like up here. And then you are done and you can choose the marking objects. It's uh, two from Panzer Abteilung Norway 1940 with camo. And then it's all test vehicles Germany 1940. So actually combat vehicles or test vehicles. It's probably going to be one of these two. They actually have something of a but they actually have the same camo, so it's either with a dunkel, dark brown with dark grey or dark grey. That's the cho choice you got. And that's it for the instructions. Let's start with the styrene bits, the lower, no, the upper hole. This actually is a pretty big thing. We got loads of rivets, loads of good welding seams everywhere. Detail is very nice, very sharp. No inner texture or inner detailing, so it's closed. But the welding and the riveting and the metal textures are, you can hear it here. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Give you a close up while the neighbor's dog starts to bark again. See if I can get good shots of this. See the rivets and the welding. Very nice and detailed this thing is. I think it's a little bit dangerous you can see here where the idler and the spotted goes on, they stick out very far, so the danger of this damaging those two, that's for sure. Next up is the guns and the primary turret, I guess. Two sprues. Yeah, this will be the main third. The guns are both pre drilled. As you can see, you can stick it in and it stays. The other one, too, it's just smaller. Uh, again, river detail here. River detail here. Welding tech detail all over the turret. Gun mount, 50 MG part, antenna here, hatches, part of the commander's cupola. Looks nice.
there anything no there's no inner detail inside detail on the hatches so you really have to close them up you can see the yeah, drilled guns some small parts there the antenna there so then the second sprue we got the exhaust pipes also pre-drilled it's nice tools with a texture on the inside here that's nice more tools a barrel cleaning rod very nice fire extinguisher if you got a mute the little things armor plating here here large hatch part of the light Part of the exhaust again. The plastic engine gr air intakes or grills here. The horn. And the fire thing here looks very nice and neat. Tools to access. Uh, there's the horn. Nicely detailed. There's the wrenches. Hope you can see the inside. It's actually textured. So part of the exhaust system. Again, drilled open. Bolts reared on the armor plating. There's two. Oh. Crisply molded, everything. No flash, no burning whatsoever. And well, then again, it's a very new kit. I think it's four years old or so. Did we say 2010, I think it is. <coughs> Next up, we got three screws in the back. Oh, Dragon's gonna. Put more and more sprues in one bag, it seems like. Oh, something falls off. I uh, got two the same. No, this one also going off. For now, so I'm just gonna cut that loose before it breaks off. Anything. Get some uh, the, uh, two the same sprue, so I'm gonna put one back and these on the side because I'm gonna have one back too. So you got this part here, it's one of the miniature that so goes on there. Let's see, welding details very nice on this one. Yeah, of course there's that one uh, hinges there. I can show you the holding detail on my finger. Good. There. With the hinges. Oh, there. That's nicely done. Okay. Now we got wheels. Yeah, this is the right side. Sprockets, rock wheels, idler wheel, return rollers, bogey system here. It's probably part of the bogey system too, as is this. Little hooks here. More hooks, hooks, hooks. Plating. Vision ports. And stuff it looks good. Mm. 
G guns here. Very nicely molded indeed. You see here, cooling system, or the cooling holes. Don't know what this is, but there also seem to ports in here. Not very clean. Very small hooks here. So Show you first the this detail here, and then for the rest of the detail, I have to turn it around. So that's what I'll do. There's that thing. There's the lower part of the small turret. I'm guessing this is the insert there for the MGs. Small hooks, the wheels, and yeah, show you these. Pockets and then the MG barrels. Let's see where are you? There you are. Let's see. Very close up. These are very nicely done. And get some river detail on those too. If I had everything, but not it. Probably part of the uh, suspension system. Don't really know what this is about. Could be the inlay of the sprocket wheel here, not, I'm not sure. Going back in, back in the back. Then you got the fenders, side fenders, low part. Oh, this one broke off two prices already. Oh, that's not nice. Mm, did not damage anything. The suspension parts of the Neubau Fahrzeug inner and our lower side of diamond plating on the fenders. And that's nice. A lot of river detail on the lower side, uh, underside. Completely welded detail along the side here. And that's nice. it up. Yeah it does. And then the underside there with all the rivets details. This is the these are the yeah arms for the wheels. And the fenders here with the diamond plating on it. It's very nicely done. And that's it really from this one. Few big parts. Big it in easy again. Just one. A couple of parts are still on loose already, and it's kind of worrying. No damage so far. Uh, tracks. Always fun. Or not really. Just take one out. Got uh, three, seven in total. Three point cleanup. No e e e EPMs. That's good news. No cleats. No texturing here, at least. But it's. I don't know. Would be nice to see that, but mm, this is doable. It's not as bad as I thought. Let's see here. Let's see one side, the outside. And the inside, as you can see, no pin marks whatsoever. No. That's doable. Let's cut them off with a little bit of sanding and glue them together. And the final spruce, uh, two in here as well. 
And these are the jack. This is the jack. Nice. Rivet detail. I hope this one stays on because this is very flimsy. And tools again. Hammer, axe, shovel, bolt cutters. I'm gonna put them like this. Nicely molded, nice sharp detail. Here the tools. Very nicely done. High quality stuff. Yep. That's all on the ground. Begin because this is also very sensitive stuff, of course. And. Oh, no. I've almost forgot the dragon card, or what's left of the dragon card that used to be. Uh, here's the PE, those PE fins you can choose to use. There. There's all the PE there is. That's it. Then we got some clear parts for all the vision blocks. And the cartograph deck also, they're good. I don't even have to take them out. So, yep, that's it. Put it all back in the box again. Don't let the damage a lot. So, uh, it seems to me to be a very quick build, not that much part. The most part go into, the most time will go into cleaning your tracks, I guess. Uh, very high in detail, very sharp, uh, kind of an unusual subject, but I really like the looks of it. The plastic parts are very good. Uh, minimum PE, which I don't like at all, so, well, I don't like PE, so minimum PE is perfect, if you ask me. And, yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to enjoy this one. Something else? I like something else, so. And I hope you like my uh, review. Let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, just shut up and go away, I don't want to know. Yeah, okay, bye-bye.